Hello and welcome to another Valentino Rossi the game video. Today, doing historic events, episode one, Rossi's first ever win in the 125 CC class, which is Bronno 1996. So, gonna watch a brief video of Rossi explaining his take on the race now. La prima vittoria nel mondiale è, è un traguardo molto importante, quindi è una cosa indimenticabile, no? anche perché è una sensazione unica. Era il mio primo anno di mondiale, venivo dal, dal mio primo podio alla, alla gara prima in Austria. Sono arrivato a Bruno e sono stato subito veloce nelle prove al punto che ero riuscito a fare la pole position, quindi partivo, partivo davanti. C'era un misto fra un, una grande eccitazione per la prima pole position ma anche molta preoccupazione no? perché hai paura di, di sbagliare era stata una gara di gruppo fino a un certo punto come classiche gare della 125 poi eravamo riusciti ad andare via io e Martinez e da lì è venuta fuori una, una lotta all'ultimo sangue perché non, non ne andavamo molto d'accordo non, non ci stavamo molto simpatici perché era tutto il campionato che ci dava fastidio che lui mi dava fastidio a me, io davo fastidio a lui mi ricordo che Avevo provato ad andare via ma non ce l'avevo fatta e quindi ce la siamo giocati alla fine e l'ultimo giro ci siamo sorpassati due o tre volte, era davanti lui, poi io sono riuscito a passarlo in fondo alla discesa, alla curva 10, prima di ritornare su in salita e avevo paura che, che, che mi fregasse perché con la scia poi eh, in salita c'è tanta differenza ma invece non è riuscito a superarmi e quindi sono riuscito a, a vincere. That was a bit of an abrupt cut. Uh, I didn't edit that, that was just how it was. But anyway, it's my turn now to try and pass Martinez. Uh, so now under control, lap 17 and 18, so we've just got about a lap and nearly two laps basically to pass Martinez. Uh, as you can see, we're closing right up to him on the brakes. They AI once again this 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 year's game. They're very weak on the brakes, but I bumped on the curb and he got back through, so gonna dive up the inside again, but obviously gonna get nowhere near close because I wasn't anywhere near having a go at overtaking. Four tenths behind is that sector. 1.3 to the next rider, so we've got a big lead. Down the hill towards the corner that was dodgy on most of the other games, but it is very but it's pretty much alright this season. Closing right up to Martinez and on the power so for the run up the hill where if you align it right up the inside at the first bit but since a flip flop he gets back through but right behind him still not really losing any time so the, the best bit about Bruno is that you can take multiple lines and they're about the same speed but the rise of the hill if you set up a good exit you can get through and nearly hitting him there that could have been a restart but using good skills to avoid him getting a good exit out this corner getting all over the curb but now in the slipstream of Martinez pulling out the slipstream down the inside into turn one break later just because the AIs aren't that great can he get back up the inside? No, he can't. So now I've taken the lead at the start of the last lap. So I've got one lap. Have to defend the position. Still says he was in front of us by one and a half tenths. Not really sure why I'm saying that. But Ioki's just been overtaken. So he's now down to fourth position. So we've already got an eight tenth lead. That is. That, that is crazy, the amount you can gain in one sector. But it looks like without any issue, I'm going to beat Martinez and pass the first historic event. Even though I've done it before, but you know, on video this time. <laughs> Through the long left. Feels like you can really dive it up the inside there, but you can run wide. Down to this other, another left hander. Getting a bit on the curb there, that's not, that can end your race if you're not careful. Still just eight tenths in front of him, so a little mistake and he'll be right behind us. Down the hill towards the dodgy corner again, where I closed right up to him last lap. And then as we rose up the hill, I tried to overtake him. 
Speaking of that, rising up the hill. Aoki still in a battle being overtaken again. Running running wide just like I did last time, but then getting a nice tight run out of that corner. And now nine tenths in front of Martinez. He run up the hill towards the last corner. He can really lose a race here. No, it's penultimate corner, sorry. Then you come on to that last corner where Valet actually took the position in real life. But anyway, at the last corner, go come over the line to do the first historic events. So, anyway guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.